Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's Bitcoin technical analysis, uh, a reminder, if you're interested what is going on here in the altcoins, make sure to watch my yesterday's live stream over on Twitch. I have it here on YouTube as well. Make sure to check out this video in case that you want to know what is going on currently here in the altcoin market because uh, yesterday we had a huge uh, pump in some uh, altcoins that uh, usually never performs like that which came out of nothing like here Dogecoin for example. So make sure that you watch yesterday's video in case that you're interested on some uh, altcoins technical analysis and uh, yeah we can start now with our Bitcoin uh, TA because the markets are looking still quite bullish overall even though we could see a little retracement today because yesterday we had a very nice pump here towards $9,500 here on Bitcoin so my target got reached here for now. Now we have to see if we are able to build up a support here above $9,400 and $9,500 or are we getting rejected currently. So here in the one hour time frame you can see that after breaking out from this uh, bigger falling wedge here currently we topped out at $9,400 and it looks like that we could form here in the lower time frames a uh, potential rising wedge which could break out here to the downside and this could take us again towards $9,000. I'm pretty confident that here this new support at around $9,300 will hold. So I don't think that even though we could here break out to the downside in case that we're going to lose here this $9,370 support, we could see a retest of this $9,300. But I don't think that it will take us uh, that low again. Even though a little retracement back down is possible, but all in all, it is still looking quite bullish in the lower and bigger time frames. And that's why I think our target of a potential 10k retest is still in the cards. And that's why we have to go older to the bigger time frames later. But here in the one hour, everything is still looking good, even though we could see a little retracement back down. And that could be maybe a good long opportunity if you're still looking to open up a long position. We have the RSI right at the 50 now and stochastic oversold. So in theory, from here on, we should see another leg up towards this $9,600 and potentially also test it. And if we open up uh, here the Bollinger Band, you can see that we retraced back to the bottom area here for around 9,370 and the MACD's also still shifted to the downside. So I still think in the next couple of hours we could see some pushes to the downside, but this could also be a potential bounce area. So if you want to open up a long position, maybe look for it now and put also a tight stop loss towards $9,300 in case that you're going long right now. And now let's open up the four hour time frame because here you can see that currently we are trading above the 220 moving average in the four hour, which is a very bullish sign. So currently this 200 moving average could hold as a support here also at 9,370. So let's see if we are able to close this four hour candles above the 200 moving average or not. The RSI is coming now from overbought conditions, so it is possible that also here we have to go down to test the 50 level in the RSI in order to have a bounce from it. But all in all, right now it looks like that we could see a bounce already now here in this $9,300 area. And the stochastic is also in neutral condition, so also here in the 1 hour and 4 hour it looks like that we could gear up here for another move to the upside, even though there are some signs that we have a little bit of room left to the downside, especially after these big moves that we had yesterday. Not only in the altcoins, but also in Bitcoin we had a nice jump towards 9500, so a little retracement here before the next move is very possible to happen. And here in the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour you can see that we retracement traced back down here into the first middle line and in theory here if we're gonna have a bounce to the upside the target would be here to test this $9,500. MACD is having here a bearish cross pretty soon if we start to trade sideways here. So let's see if here we are able to bounce and also break 9500 in order to avoid this bearish cross in the MACD. Otherwise, if we start to go lower here towards the next target of $9,300, we could see also here a bearish cross and that could indicate that we could fall towards $9,000 again and possibly retest this area again. 
and there we are gonna have to see if we're able to bounce from it or not because that would also be this target of this potential rising wedge that we're forming currently it is a bearish pattern but only for the lower time frame so we could see a breakout and then immediately recover back up so if you want to trade this maybe wait here for a breakout and also this rising wedge to play out and then start to open up longs or shorts if you think we're gonna break out here to the downside and you want to short it over on a buy bit for example then maybe look and wait here for a potential breakout to the downside from this $9,300. And now let's open up the daily because the daily is now looking very bullish and that's why I think we are still in for a possible test of $10,000. As you can see yesterday we closed like the previous days here above the 20 daily moving average and yesterday we closed above the 50 daily moving average and today we could have the confirmation that the 50 daily is now support like we had over here. You see that the next day immediately we had this nice pump and now we closed above the 50 daily. So if today we're gonna close above 9,370 and tomorrow we're gonna start to bounce from this moving average, then I think it is very likely that we could see a move here towards $10,000 and tomorrow is also Friday. So very often on Fridays, we always see big moves also here in the Bitcoin space. And I think 10K is still very likely in the cards. We have a lot of room here left to the upside here, also based on the RSI. Stochastic is coming here in over bought condition but we can stay in this area for quite some time the thing is that here in the rsi we are trading above the 50 we are trading above the 20 and 50 daily moving average and we have a lot of room left to the upside so this is making me really bullish and i'm also still considering to open up a long position probably here on a bit yard because here on bit yard you can trade with tether and you're not gonna pay a uh, funding rates here so on this exchange when you trade with tether you don't gonna pay funding rates but of course you also don't get any funding rates but here the take profits and all of the stop losses are fixed so you have to fix them in advance of course you can also change it when you're in the trade because usually i'm trading over on a bybit especially on a bitcoin but here if you open up uh, some longs right now you will need to pay funding rates on your longs so if the price is starting to trade sideways or it goes to the wrong direction and you keep alive your trade you're gonna pay all eight hours some funding rates and to avoid that i'm using currently btr to open up longs if i would open up a long position here then only if i will get uh, funding rates or if i open up a short position i would also do it right now here on bybit because the shorts are getting funding rates currently and if we open up here the daily time frame, you can see that we are trading right here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. So we could see a retracement down here again towards 9,300 to retest the midline. But all in all here, the target would be up here towards 9,600. And I think 9,600 is very likely to be tested again. Also because that would be the top here of this rising wedge that we are currently in. And there we're gonna have to see if we are able to break through or not. MACD had a bullish cross here, so in theory here we are now shifted to the upside and we should expect 10k in the next couple of days, potentially even tomorrow. If today we're gonna have the confirmation that now the 50 daily is acting as a support. And now let's also open up here the weekly time frame because so far this week looks very good. We have a nice big green candle out of these four weeks of downwards movements here. We are still trading above the 20 weekly moving average and also the RSI is above the 50. So also here in the weekly still bullish and even here in the Bollinger Band currently we're trading above the first middle line. So if we can close this week above $9,300 we are technically shifted here to the upside here in the weekly and also we could easily go towards the top of the Bollinger Band which is currently at around $11,000 and I think this is very likely to be reached if this week we're gonna close above these levels that we are currently and also MACD still shifted to the upside so here in the bigger time frames everything is still very bullish and also these uh, pumps that we have seen yesterday in the altcoins not all of them I agree and I see why they pump but uh, we have uh, for example uh, Chainlink or Vergecoin which had a very nice breakout from this 
uh, highs that we had here at around five dollars here chain link for example and uh, it is still sustainable here so it doesn't look like a blow off top so i think that also in the altcoins we could see some further pumps even though i don't recommend you to jump in in these uh, small cap coins when you see pushes like this especially um dogecoin for example even though as i told you we could continue to pump here but usually the alts are always pumping at the end of a big rally so this whole rally that we're seeing currently which also bitcoin could take up towards eleven thousand dollar could be the end of the rally and afterwards we're gonna see a major correction to the downside then reach maybe our bearish targets and then have the big leg up and the potential also break the main resistance that is coming down here and this eventually will take us very soon to retest 20k and possibly also create new all-time highs also here on Bitcoin. So let's see what the next days will bring. But currently, I am again more bullish than bearish for the lower time frames and also for the bigger time frames. But I'm still ready in case that we're gonna have a potential big retracement back down here towards the six thousand to eight thousand dollar level. It's still in the cards, even though we could see here some last pushes here towards the main resistance here. But let's see what will happen at this market phase. I'm gonna look to open up a long position even though we're coming here to a potential end so i will not try to catch a short position i will try to long it with a tight stop loss but in case that we're gonna fall down here my stop loss will get executed and then i will start to look for new longs towards these bearish targets that we still have between eight thousand to six thousand five hundred dollar so let's see what the future will bring guys but you have to be ready in case for a big dump or also if we start to moon from now now on and if you also want to long or short bitcoin ethereum eos or xrp you can do that over on bybit so make sure to have an account here this is the best exchange and i very much recommend you to use bybit if you want to trade with the leverage this is the most liquid and most safest exchange out there and if you still need an account you find the link down below here in the video description with my link you can get some sign up bony and currently they have nine up to 90 dollars sign up bonus uh, of course you have to put some deposit do some trades etc but you can get up to 90 dollars here completely for free and if you want to trade for example also gold with your tether or bitcoin you can do that over on femex with my link you can get 72 dollars completely for free and i also recommend you bityard in case that you want to trade all these coins that you see here in the list bitcoin chain link ethereum and so on with tether so here you don't have to own the coins you just put some tether here and you can trade all these coins just using tether all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to sign up to the 10 dollar bitcoin giveaway that we do every week the video the sign up video is popping up here on the top of the screen at the end of this video so click on that video leave a comment and also your bitcoin address we're gonna select randomly a winner at the end of the week and if you like this content of course please leave a like here subscribe to the channel tick the little bell and we see us all in the next one bye